Behold, Pinyin, but where did it come from? Meet Zhou Youguang, born in China in 1906. Zhou didn't start out intending to revolutionize the Chinese language. As a student, he traveled around the world and eventually became a banker in New York City. The study of language was always a hobby, mm. at least until the Chinese Revolution. When the revolution occurred in 1949, Zhou returned to help rebuild his country. However, the Chinese government was more interested in his language skills. They appointed him head of a committee tasked with making the Chinese language understandable in Western letters. This process is known as romanization, and it was a complex problem. Zhou's answer? Pinyin. Here's the thing about Chinese. In Western languages like English, each character represents a specific sound. When several of these symbols are combined, they form a word. However, in Chinese, each character represents an entire word, and readers can't tell how a word is pronounced by looking at its character. Zhou's pinyin system uses Western characters to spell the sounds of Chinese characters. This isn't just useful for foreigners, it also helps Chinese children learn to read. Since pinyin was introduced in 1958, Chinese literacy rates have risen dramatically. As for Zhou, he is a very modest genius and still hard at work. In January 2013, he turned 107 years old. 